beautiful people hope you're having a great day welcome back to my channel it's lazy pretty lazy akimbele so today's video is a beauty slash skincare video i'll be telling you what you don't know about organic black soap what you should know before getting african black soap basically and what you are doing wrong so i'm just basically telling you how to use african black soap so first of all I have a video on how to make organic black soap it will be in the description box below please make sure you check it out and exposing organic skincare brand please make sure you check it out Hello. Hello. african black soap is from nigeria and ghana is in nigerian black soap and there is in ghana black soap as well it's also from togo Benin, Kotonou, and so the African black soap has been used for ages. It is medicinal, pregnant women use it on their babies, and it is made of palm cane oil, coconut oil, chia butter, a cheese, and cocoa pot. The African black soap is not black, it is brown. It is brown and it has some, you know, particles in it. It also has a white color. If you see any black soap like Tudu Osho, that is not African black soap. It is African black soap, but it has been made with you know, chemical and all of that, and you don't need that. African black soap does not scent. It doesn't have any scent like scents like lemon fragrance. No, it is natural. It is pure organic. Why African black soap doesn't work for your skin? Everybody has different things that works for their skin. If you are getting your African organic black soap from a skin vendors, it depends on the product or ingredients that is used to make the soap. And you know, we are all different. What works for me might not work for you. And everything has its good and bad side, disadvantage and advantage. African black soap has a lot of disadvantage and so many advantage. So first of all, I'll be saying it depends on what is inside. For me, I feel like only doesn't work for me anymore i feel like whenever i use only i break out and i've been trying to take care of my skin lately because i've been breaking out but i've been using only for a very long time with turmeric and as well as um, lemon you don't have to add too many acid in your african black soap once there's so many products like acidic products it irritates the skin it causes some burns it causes rashes. so that is basically why it doesn't work for you it depends on the product that is inside just look for what works for you african black soap has a ph limit of seven you don't want to go beyond it you don't want to add too much ingredients in it you don't want it to be too acidic that is why it irritates your skin it makes your skin very tight and dry it it gives you a sensitive skin. like you don't have to use african black soap all the time it's just it has to be like three times a day and it doesn't have to be in the morning most especially when you're going to work you have to prevent your skin from the soil some bones it will irritate your skin and you will break out you have to use it at night that is the best time you have to make sure your face is wet and you don't have to apply the soap directly to your face you have to put it on your hand then you massage it gently with your hand because there are some particles in it that can you know press pierce into your skin and then break your skin you just massage it into your hand and you don't have to scrub it you just have to go gently on your skin and then you rinse it off you don't have to leave it on your skin for an hour or like 30 minutes black soap is meant to clean our skin and give it some nice nutrients it is not meant to make our skin really dry and irritated it depends on how you use it and the ingredients that consist inside the soap so you have to look for what works for you what works for you might not work for me you just have to look for the ingredient that goes with your skin and you don't have to put so much chemicals so much acidic chemicals doesn't have to be in your skin black soap naturally cleans the skin some people find African black soap as you know a good soap, it moisturizes the skin. Why some people find it as you know it dries the skin, it, it irritates the skin, it gives them reaction. Depends on where you are getting your skincare product from. You can get it from different different brands and you shouldn't expect reaction. So it depends on what is inside the soap. African black soap, it's meant to give the skin nutrients, it's meant to exfoliate the skin. It depends on how it is being made. It depends on the ingredient that consists inside the soap. That is why you get reaction and all of that. And it depends on how you use it. So I have been using African black soap for more than a year now. And when I started using it, it worked well. I liked it, but it did not work for my sister's skin. And then I started having a reaction. 
because I never knew I was using it the wrong way. I was using it like practically in everything, morning and night. Then it dried my skin and I had irritation. You know, I had breakouts and my skin was so dry. So I would advise you to use African black soap safely. And I would advise you to use a moisturizer because it dries the skin. So you have to moisturize your face and you have to wear a sunscreen when going out. If you are using any organic products, you have to make sure you wear a sunscreen so it will work effectively. By applying African black soap on your skin, I will advise you not to leave it as a max on your skin. Most especially when you have a sensitive skin, it will cause reaction, it will burn your skin. You don't have to leave it as a max for few minutes before you rinse it off. So I would advise you to know what works for your skin because we have different skin types. So basically, I would advise you to use a moisturizer after using your African black soap because it draws out excess oil. That is all for my video. I hope you find these tips helpful. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share. I have a video on how to make organic black so Please make sure you check it out. I will link it in the description below. And, you know, exposing organic skincare brand. Thanks for being here again. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. I mean subscribe. I am waiting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lizzie Akimble, Facebook at Lizzie Pretty. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Spread love.